and he's going to be out there for a few hours working on the, uh, the back side of the clay. Looks really good. Those guys will come back in a couple of days and help do the rest of the mold. But for right now, it's quiet time. Good. Pretty good. Oh, you're looking for a pair of pants. <laughs> like it? He said more seams than they have a little pocket. Oh, it's got a little pocket. So you can carry your stash. That's right. Hold my keys. I like those the best. These? Yeah. Those are cool. <laughs> Alright, we are just walking around Malibu because we got nothing to do. Kathy's done sculpting and now we're just going to chill, go through the park a little bit. It's a bit of a blustery day. Feels a little different than summer. Don't want to say that too loud because Kathy will get mad because summer is her favorite time. But it does feel a little cooler. Legacy Park, we're going through it. secret little thing that's in the colony this big wall you guys all know this big wall but maybe you don't know what's behind the big wall let's go look dude's got his own golf course it's pretty awesome Thirsty dogs.
not done with it yet. Relaxing day in preparation for absolute awesomeness, which is happening tomorrow and Sunday. It's just gonna be two really big days filled with so many vehicular contraptions, you're not gonna know where to put it all. Tomorrow is the Corvair show, early in the morning. I'm gonna get there about 8, 8, 8.30. Gonna see about 100 Corvairs all in their glory at Bob's Big Boy in Downey. Can't wait for that. Right after that, I'm going to the Automobile Driving Museum because there is an AMC show. It's gonna be full of AMC cars. I just hope that there's one pacer. Then on Sunday, Kathy and I are gonna go up to Montecito Cars and Coffee, and we have a choice. We're gonna come back. We're either gonna to go to the Murphy Museum, or we're gonna be going to the Harbor Village in Ventura and going to the art show, which has a bunch of sculptors in it, everything I explained before. You know, what do you I also plan on getting this hat done? Wanna see it? You wanna see how it's coming along? No, I don't think so. Art can't be rushed. This can't be rushed. You can look at the backside. That's all you get. I had a conversation with a friend today. Went on for about an hour and a half. Uh, he has a business where he has invented something really cool and he's in the process of giving it to the world. Now, over the nine or ten years that I've been with him and watching this evolve and watching this grow, he's had a, a lot of Dr. No's in his life. And as we all have, you know what a Dr. No is, is someone who tells you that, well, you can't do this and all the reasons why you can't, blah, 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 blah. And you gotta fight against those, those guys because uh, they're everywhere. It's kind of like, and I explained this to him, it's kind of like you're a big balloon that's getting ready to take off and then you got all those ropes that are holding you down and all you want to do is snip all those things so you can go and you can explore. Now you don't want to be those Dr. Nuts because who are you to say to someone else it can't be done? That's not an impression you ever want to give to someone. You want to give them the impression of power to be able to achieve and do great things. The fastest way to success is to give people a sense of advancement, give people a sense of increase give people a sense that they're growing, that they're doing more, that, that if they do something with you or if they hang out with you or if they, they do something for themselves and jump in with all fours and take that risk, they're gonna grow and they're gonna get bigger. It's one of the most valuable lessons that you can teach to your kids. Do something that helps others grow bigger. If you can find what you love and you can do that in the best way possible every single day, just small steps to make that grow, but whatever it is that you pick, it helps other people to grow, then you got a winner. So quickly look at your life, kind of go through all the things, all the bells and whistles, all the things that you do, whether you have a job, whether you're an entrepreneur and you've developed something, or you want to do a product. Does that product help increase people's lives in some way? Does it add value to people's lives? Remember, it's all about the giving first and the getting later. All right, that's vlog 434, 434. Lots of car show stuff happening this weekend. Kathy's gonna be still working on her, her mermaid. You're gonna see that. This is a big surf contest happening in Malibu. You get to see some of that too. All right, that's it, I'm done. You wanna see it? I don't think so, but we'll see you tomorrow. Wow.